YouTube, what is going on? In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the best, most efficient ways to get Dark Matter unlocked in Black Ops 6. Originally, I was going to do a video for each weapon category separately, but a lot of these challenges are very self-explanatory and don't really need to be talked about. But I am going to go through and talk about the ones that I think most people will get a little bit hung up on. I know some of them I did. So the very first thing I'm going to recommend to you guys is that you knock out all of the headshot challenges for each weapon first. Do your headshots before you do any of the other challenges. Challenges. It's going to save you guys a ton of time in the long run. Now, the second thing that I would highly recommend is that you guys do not prestige, especially if you want to get Dark Matter as fast as possible. You don't want to be waiting for weapons to unlock because there's some that are level 52. 49 and you're going to be waiting until the end of your prestige to be able to even use the gun again. Now, in terms of modes, I would definitely recommend playing face off or hardcore face off to get the most action possible and the most amount of headshots per game possible. If you guys are working on a long shot challenge, there's only a couple of spots that you're able to get these on the face off maps. One of them being on Gala, you can look all the way down the map. On Warhead, there's really only one efficient spot to get long shots, and that is if you are in the head glitch in the back left of the barn head glitch spawn. For for the point blank challenges, the easiest way to get this done would probably be to go into hardcore face off and just play pretty aggressively. If you just kind of sprint the fire, slide around and hip fire right into people, you'll be able to get some point blanks that way. Now for the rocket launchers, this is one that most people are going to get stuck on. You're going to have to go into regular core modes because you're going to have to shoot down streaks. Now, luckily, the Sigma is a lock on launcher, so you don't really have to aim. However, the HE is a free fire launcher, which means you're going to actually have to lead your shots at the air streaks. Now, most of the time you're going to miss. But once you can figure out how to line up your shots, you should be able to get into a rhythm and get it down a lot faster. This one's just going to take a lot of trial and error and a lot of luck waiting for the other team to call in UAVs and counter UAVs and choppers. For the baseball bat, I would recommend going into hardcore to do the bat considering it is a two hit kill in regular core modes, which is going to make this extremely difficult, especially when you get to the double kills and triple kills. It's going to be very difficult to get those with regular core health. Now, shotguns. What I'm going to recommend is that if you guys are playing with auto tax sprint settings on, you're going to have to turn them off to use shotguns in any efficient way. I refuse to do that and it honestly wasted so much of my time because I refused to change that setting. I literally wasted an entire day worth of gameplay trying to get headshots with these shotguns. Make sure you guys turn that off and don't make the same mistake I did. And really for the most part, that is it. This camo grind is not really that in depth. There's not a whole lot of difficult challenges to do and most of them are very self-explanatory. Most of this camo grind is just grinding out those headshots, which is why, like I said, I recommend getting all of your headshots done before you do anything else. It's going to save you guys so much time. With that said, if this video helps you guys out in any way, shape or form, make sure you smack that like button for me and subscribe for more. We're going to be jumping into zombies here very, very soon. So look out for maybe some zombies content. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Catch you later.